Hi, this is Nick Van Tahiden, and I'm here with Janet DeLeon, the uh, Executive Vice President and General Manager for Nuance Healthcare. And we're here to talk about the meaningful use regulations and uh, to get Janet's uh, initial thoughts. Janet, welcome. Hi, Nick. How are you? Very well. Thank you. Um, so uh, we're excited to um, see the emergence of the uh, standards and what I'd like to do is to get your sort of initial thoughts on the structured data and how you feel that's going to impact physicians and their productivity. Well I think again as everybody in the industry reacted over the past year plus in terms of what was rolling out of Washington and what Washington had begun to ask of the healthcare market in the U.S. But now that the final regs are available to us, I think it, uh, everybody will now continue the journey forward here and to implement meaningful use. Clearly a key part, an absolutely fundamental part of meaningful use is physician adoption of IT, how they use IT, and that critical component is physician documentation. The narrative, the unstructured component of that physician documentation is a particular area where Nuance really has solutions that help the physicians and really can help customers climb that path towards meaningful use and that implementation standards that the federal government is looking for. Right, so as you think about that, what are your biggest concerns associated with meaningful use regulations? Where do you think there are some challenges for physicians? I think for physicians overall, the challenge is to their workflow. Um, we've all, all of us who have been in IT for years have known there is one key requirement to get physicians and uh, have physicians use systems and to have them use them uh, with uh, some sense of joy and that is to protect the time. It is clearly time is the most critical component for a physician. Um, so when I look at physicians implementing systems I think that the challenge there is to help solve that time factor in their lives and therefore have systems that are tremendously usable and I think that's where, again, technologies that Nuance has, like speech recognition and also our uh, transcription services, are a vital component to helping customers achieve meaningful use because we can help, absolutely, physicians manage time. And one of the other technologies uh, that we've seen emerge is uh, CLU, or Clinical Language Understanding. W where do you think that plays in this whole process of efficiency and uh, bridging that divide for physicians and this technology? I think CLU, clinical language understanding, is an emerging and a very, very important component to the future of healthcare IT. I think, again, there just is a fundamental need to support the narrative and to support that unstructured data environment that is so prevalent in healthcare today. It's just a reality that we need to accept. However, CLU gives us a real opportunity to bring structure and a, in, into that world of that narrative so we can protect the workflows of the clinicians that are delivering the care and we can begin to introduce clinical language understanding and structure to that narrative to provide an environment for the analytics, for the reporting, for the quality measurement that are absolutely so important to improving patient care. So I think it's an exciting emerging technology. We are investing heavily in it. Uh, we'll begin to roll out solutions this year. Very exciting stuff. Um, so some of the standards that were originally in draft or proposed uh, form, we've now seen um, a little bit of uh, uh, laxity in terms of the uh, standards that have been uh, requested. How do you think that's going to play out? Do you think that's a good thing, bad thing? Um, I think that, you know, Dr. Blumenthal and the, the rule makers, if you will, um, you know, actually did what they said they would do and they listened. They asked for comments. It was a significant uh, period of response from the industry and I, I think it's, it's a great sign that they really did listen and internalize and try to uh, react to what they heard in the comments. If In terms of the providers, our customers that are uh, reacting to this, I, I think that their challenges still remain because it's not just the meaningful use but it's the clinical processes themselves which are needing to be adapted and refined as they migrate towards meaningful use. It is still, for many, many providers, a significant amount of work. It's a significant amount of investment that they need to make of their own resources, plus external resources to get this done. But again, I think it's, uh, it's a fantastic sign that they are seeing that their, their comments were heard. So I think it's a positive statement that this collaboration and this uh, 
investment in healthcare IT to improve patient care in the U.S. is a uh, is a collaboration between the government and the providers. I think it's very positive. Um, so you mentioned clinical decision support and some of the quality indicators. Those are embedded uh, in, in the regulations. Um, you know, in the, in the period of time that you've been with Nuance, wh what are the products that you think are coming to bear on um, that problem and how are we helping uh, our customers uh, to fulfill that requirement? Um, I've, I've been at Nuance about 90 days now, so it's uh, been a fascinating uh, learning experience for me. Uh, you know, one of the reasons that I was uh, interested in coming to Nuance is because the uh, portfolio, the tools that we had available really speak to having systems used and used well by clinicians and that's really exciting. Um, I think that again what we can do with the emerging technologies of uh, clinical language understanding are going to be fundamental to at the point of care, at the moment of the decision making, helping bring more and more elegant clinical decision support to that moment of clinical decision. Um, and that's again one of the uh, one of the exciting components of investing in this clinical language understanding. So allow the physician to work seamlessly with a workflow within which they're comfortable to, to, to support that unstructured, that narrative that is so much a part of the clinical documentation process and have the technology behind the scene structure that data and enable real-time clinical decision support. So uh, very, very exciting territory. So, I, you know, summarizing that, that would be uh, error catching versus error reporting. Error catching, yeah. I mean, I, th I think that the ability to, again, be part of that moment of this clinical decision, um, as opposed to retrospectively counting errors, um, I think is, a, is fundamentally a key component of what everyone's trying to do by having healthcare IT adopted in the U.S. Um, so just in closing and, um, you know, thinking about those regulations, you know, this is obviously a um, a significant uh, point in the, the history of healthcare. We've seen the um, draft regulations, now we're at the point of final regulations. Have you got any messages or, or um, uh, anything you'd like to uh, tell both our customers as well as uh, the healthcare community and you know what, what your vision of that future um, holds for the next several months, even years? I mean, I think again that um, the government and the provider communities have uh, embraced on a collaborative journey here to raise the bar of healthcare delivery. Um, as a member of a vendor community, I mean, what we are investing in and what we spend our time doing is trying to help. How can we get tools, how can we get solutions out into the market in collaboration again with the work that's going on? to have the healthcare IT systems be embraced more readily, to have the systems be more usable, to really provide an environment where uh, we are seamlessly using IT to improve uh, patient care. I think that's what all of us are in this for, that's what makes it exciting. It always and forever will be about the patient and what we can do to help, and that's, uh, that's what we're trying to do. Great, well, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. We'll look forward to uh, the coming months and. Uh, talking about the standards. Uh, in the meantime, uh, look forward to uh, uh, the next several um, weeks as we try and digest the full uh, details of the meaningful use. Thanks. Great, it's been fun. Good luck. Thank you.